They're taken care of. Check the status of the squad downstairs. Yes, sir, Lieutenant, sir. Are the renegades outside? They won't bother you. You took them out? Who are you? Aiden. I got orders from Jack Matt. Well, fuck me. Let's look at what Santa Zelza brought us. Withdrawal? Now? This is some kind of fucking joke. Know how many men I lost to secure this miserable plot of land? Look, I don't, Lieutenant, but I have Five. other... Five. Five of our very best. Bartez killed more virals than an entire unit. Sierra and Little Ron? They've been fighting at my side since before the fall. They gave their lives for that scrap of the city, and now what? I'm supposed to pull back? I'm looking for access to the GRE database. I hear you know where I can do that. Yeah, I do. But why the fuck would I tell you under the circumstances? I got important, if idiotic, business to attend to. Get out of my sight. Okay, gentlemen. Gather the dog tags of the fallen. That fucking sucks. But an order's an order. Bro, wait. Luan, do you come to piss me off too? You know me, Ro. Aiden and me both are looking for that GRE database. And you're gonna tell us. You wanna drag this out? Or take care of it here and now? <laughs> Fuck. Why are you after the database? I've heard it was stored on servers in the Observatory Command Center. But that building was destroyed in the chemical attacks years ago. The bombings came one after the other, like we were the fucking Viet Cong. Nothing was left. Understand? Nada. If you want, check for yourselves. Gentlemen, we're going. What's next? Next? <laughs> Didn't you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list, and you? You can enjoy life in the center. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list? They'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden? I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah, thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, Luan. I'm really not going with you. All right, so that's pretty interesting, but is that like the... Is that her end of the story? That's a little bit sad if so. I mean, I thought she would have been in way more. All right, here we go. Hello? Hello? We're under attack. Renegades. They surrounded us on the island. We don't stand a chance. I'm begging you, help. Ah. Uh, okay, there's one over here. Yo, I'm just gonna... Oh my god. Hey, let's go. Do I have to start a chase if you can't reach me, huh? Oh my god. I'm not gonna make it. They've started a chase, but I don't feel like... 
these fucking stalkers would have like paragliders and shit, right? <laughs> if they do, then... Oh god, I just dropped it in the middle of two of them. Luckily, there are like... Decent amounts of these things around. It's gonna get onto level four eventually. This already feels really crazy. Alright, here we go! Sorry guys, I gotta take off. <laughs> I don't know if I should just take it easy. Or this error. Or just keep going the way I mean to go on. Like, we are getting into a level 2 chase. So, I mean, as much as this shit fucking hurts, I'm gonna keep going. I don't think they can follow me on water, right? They probably can, though. This is Die Light, everything's possible. Can't see. I can't see shit. I might... Okay. I'm just gonna take it as though they're not following me through the water. If they are, then... That's ridiculous, and you know it. I'm gonna try and move past this, uh... Howler very quietly. What the fuck? Are they actually following me through the water? I guess they are. Oh my god. I need to make a move on these guys. <laughs> they really be out here trying to get me, man. The muted is low, okay. Let me just change that real quick. The edge is getting more thinner, though. As we're going along, so here we go, 60 meters away. My immunity's going down, fam. I'm about to die. I don't feel like I've got any more of them. Oh wait, could see. Hang on. Luan, yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. One. Hey, Major Matt, Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship, to the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they could not tell that I was a human by shouting them like that, you know? That was, uh... <laughs> it was a little bit controversial. How do I... I can't just jump down, right? There's no way if I jump down there right on that X, I'm gonna not die. I'm not seeing any other way down unless we do it like this. Oh, wait, hang on. Actually, I kind of want to try something out. Here we go! Holy shit! These are always so cool. You guys know I love these, right? They're just so cool to me. 
I'm going to drop down here. And... Okay, I'm not seeing anything. There isn't, like, anything... I actually want right now. I'm just wondering how this is going to help, but... Here we go, anyways. So this is on a ship for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, here we go. That UV light tells me that it's going to be nighttime soon. <laughs> here we go. Halt! Biomarker. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Thanks. Alright, man, here we go. I feel like it's, uh... This game has been very interesting to me so far. I don't know. Report to the dispatcher, alright. Okay. Here we go. Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. They've already attacked two of our camps. Do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Ready, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Ready, Something's ready. happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck! Oh Hater's God. in really bad shape. Save him. Yes. Take him to the infirmary! Don't Summon the medics! Away. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Alright, so new side quest, Ador, okay. So you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm gonna complete this game, and then straight after it, I'm gonna do all the side quests, but you guys will probably see them throughout, like, part numbers throughout the game. I don't know how it's gonna work. But you guys will just uh, see the ending as the last video, you know. Dedicated man. It's gonna be cool though. Aiden. All right, here we go. Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden, from the plague, from the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz heard her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... that's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. 
I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. What, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay. I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me, sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? Okay, talk to Mayor. All right. Let me, uh... Wait, what? I was like wondering there for a second. Every time I heard the name Mayor, it's like uh, Michael Myers. I don't know why. Guess that's just the uh, horror fan coming out of me. All right, here we go. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now... A symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. 
He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Hope that flashlight serves you well. <laughs> <laughs>